guys my name is alana welcome back to my youtube channel mental health with alana if you're new here please click the red subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and also click the bell notification button so you know every time i post a video i post mondays and fridays although at the moment i'm posting a bit more frequently because i'm in hospital if you're wondering why i'm in hospital i made a video i will link it if i can um down below i'm just talking quietly because I don't want a nurse to come in and interrupt me um so i just wanted to do like a super quick um video and maybe update so at the moment um my psychiatrist has changed my meds like i said in the other video i am getting more sleep than um i was it's still not a lot of sleep but it's better um, the agitation has gone away um, because I've been taking 20 milligrams of diazepam every day. That was the only thing that would work to get rid of the agitation. Um, and that was probably the worst. So now the agitation is kind of gone. I'm just still feeling very like hyped up, um, very restless. Like I can't really focus on things. I keep jumping from one activity to the other. Um, my head's still quite scrambled and all over the place um i am just getting super bored because when i'm in this mood i just want to run around doing things and there's like not really much to do in here so um yeah but my psychiatrist said it was good because i actually caught this caught this episode really early on normally i don't and then it gets really bad um so i'm just waiting to be picked up because i'm gonna go home for a bit um and go like wash my hair and stuff and have a shower and see my cat um what i wanted to talk about quickly though is the whole thing of benzodiazepines so a lot of people have mixed mixed what's the word uh, mixed feelings about benzodiazepines. Now, I do understand that they can be addictive and that people do get dependent on them, but I think within the mental health and medical community, there's a lot of um, maybe like shame put on them and misinformation. So, benzodiazepines are a perfectly okay drug to be using as long as it is prescribed by your doctor um so my, my in my case my psychiatrist and they have to be monitoring it which means they're not going to be giving you large amounts for me my mom takes care of my medication so if i want it i have to go ask i am not addicted to them i've gone months without them um like they are there to help um i've been on them for over two or three years um and you know it's very well managed i only take it when it's prescribed like when i'm allowed to take it and the dose but i feel like a lot of people especially gps gps seem to be the worst where they just think that they're completely addictive and that you shouldn't be on them and that you can't be on them long term you can be on them long term like i said but it has to be managed by a doctor and monitored like they, they can't just give it a bunch to you and then just leave you so i just wanted to mention that in this video because i'm getting quite sick of medical professionals and then just people in general saying that they're addictive and like demonizing them because honestly they really help and if you're in a situation where you need that and it's going to improve your quality of life then you should take it because for me at the moment like especially i'm on a higher dose it has helped me so much because i was that irritable i was severely agitated and it was causing a lot of distress for myself and for everyone else around me because they didn't know what to do to help me um so you know and i have friends who've who's been on them for ages and i'm, I'm just quite sick of everyone putting this bad label on them you know just just because you take them does not mean you're addicted to them it doesn't mean that 
you'll, um, you know, in any way should feel ashamed. It's literally just a medication like anything else. Um, and it's there to help you. And like I said, it should always be monitored by a health professional. You know, I've had a lot of issues in the past with my GPs not agreeing with my psychiatrist on prescribing me it. I've seen a lot of stuff online from these random psychiatrists saying that you shouldn't be them, shouldn't be on them long term. Personally, I do disagree because, like I said, if you need it and it's going to improve, it's all about improving your quality of life. So, and it's your personal decision whether you want to take it or not. Um, I could say more on this topic. My head's really like all over the place at the moment, so. I'm not going to make a long video, um, but yeah, I just wanted to bring that up because I might make a more in-depth video when I'm well, talking about it and like what it does chemically, how it affects the brain, the body, all that type of stuff. Um, so I will do that, but just at the moment, like I'm not able to do that um, because I can't really get my thoughts together. And yeah, so I am going to be going home hopefully soon. Nobody in my household is picking up the phone. I rang both my dad's phones because he's at work when I normal one. I ring my mom. My mom could potentially still be at work. I don't know. Um, my sister's at work. Mother's sister is probably at work too. Um, and only one of my sisters can drive, like pick me up. So and she hasn't finished till five. But I just like really, really want to go home at the moment. I am just so bored. And there's, because there's barely anyone in the ward at this time, there's like not really anyone to talk to. And I'm like in a really chatty mood. Like, I just want to talk to people. I just want to chat. I just want to do activities. And the activities that have been on like super boring or things that I've done like before. Um, and yeah, like the day just drags on. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I want to do something. Ooh. Anyway, so yeah. My mood has kind of improved a little bit, but um, I'm still quite like, I don't know, elevated a little bit all over the place. I don't really know what's happening. Um, I am, well, I was really excited though because I got a new squish mallow and it's so cute, so, so cute. I posted it on my Instagram if you want to go look. Um, I was really, really, really happy about that. I went and got it yesterday um, because I was like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself. So I got that. Um, and yeah, I have been doing like meditations and stuff like that to try to like calm my brain down but it's still not really working that well um i can't really meditate that well i've been trying to do things but it's just not happening so yeah i'm still getting hallucinations but they're not as frequent i am still quite delusional that's the problem at the moment um it's causing me a lot of stress and anxiety and like issues with um being able to like trust people and stuff like that um also like i just don't I can't describe very well like what's going on in my head which is giving me frustration because I don't know how to like my psychiatrist asked how I am and I don't know how to describe it I don't know what to say so it's like really really frustrating me because I just don't know how to explain it but anyway so I'm gonna end this video here because I don't want it to be long I will upload this whenever I have a vlog coming so stay tuned for that thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in my next one bye